Hi all. So in this tutorial, we'll see how we can create a proxy based uh, web service client using the Axis One implementation. We'll I have uh, listed out the steps that we need to follow here. So I will uh, follow this step using the Eclipse IDE one by one. Okay. So let's get started. So let me go to the Eclipse. So first step is create the Java project. So let me create one Java project in Eclipse. So go to file, new and the Java project. Other. Java project. Next. Let gives name like axis uh, one. Later. Client calculator service client. Axis one calculator service client. Uh, mostly it will be all the default setting. So let's finish it. I, I don't want to change the perspective to Java. Okay. If you do yes, the, the environment perspective will change to the Java. So I don't want to change it. So click on no. We have created one Java project. The next step is go to the to copy the WSDL file into client project or use the WSDL URL. So um, next step is to use the WSDL file or the WSDL URL into the client project. I uh, will have to paste it. So I am going to uh, this uh, calculated service client. I'm going to call this uh, axis one calculator service. Okay, so I have already explained this how we can create this service. So I'm going to call this service only in this uh, client calculator service client. So I'm using this uh, WSDL, WSDL for this service. So go to web content and then WSDL and then copy this, copy this uh, WSDL file and then paste it in the client project java project so i pasted it so now i got the visual file now the next step is to generate the steps or proxies using the eclipse okay so how we can do that let me go to eclipse So all those uh, Java files should be present in the sources folder. So I am going to create one stubs using the access one implementation. So I have to um, click on source and then right click and then new and then go to other. Okay. And then go to web service, web services web services under that you will see web service client okay and click on web service client next then we need to service url either we can here we can put uh, here we can put wisdom or the service 
or the complete uh, WSDL URL or the um, WSDL file. So let me put the WSDL file. So browse it. Again browse. And then this is the WSDL, right? So let me check that. Select that and then OK. And then this uh, configure the server Tomcat 8 and then Axis 1 it is already by default it selected so I'm choosing it again and this is the client project name that is Axis 1 calculated service client so now click next and then finish finish it so this by doing this actually by doing this step uh, we have performed the eclipse or axis one uh, implementation has done few of the things here so the first thing is like it added all the edge stops okay so you can see this this is the stop file calculate service of binding stop and all these java files apart from these are the supporting files to this stop class okay and then you can see the jars related to axis one has been added to the class but in this project okay so this is how we can create the stuff I'm just refresh it okay so we we done with the first uh, three steps now the last last three steps we will see in the next tutorial. Thanks. Thanks for watching.